Okay, time to make a big old pot of water chili. Uh, now, what is water chili? You may be wondering. Uh, water chili is where I thaw all the ingredients out in water uh, because they're all frozen. Um, and once these are thawed out, uh, then we can start cooking our sauce. Now, what you don't see here are beans. That's because beans ruin a perfectly good pot of chili. Folks, where in the word chili, where in the word chili or pot of chili does it say beans? I mean, it makes sense why we're putting green chilies in a pot of chili. That makes sense. What doesn't make sense is why people put beans in their chili. They have a horrible texture and uh, no taste. I just wanna peel uh, the skin off of them. Now this is called the ghost uh, layer of an onion and it's called that because it kind of hovers around the outside of the onion like a ghost uh, might hover around a haunted uh, bedroom. So you're just gonna wanna remove that. Uh, look at all this waste, uh, but waste not, want not. Okay, let's go ahead and get our onions in our pan here. And we'll just wanna go ahead and throw these uh, right into this pan with them. Look at that. And get a real nice simmer going, a real nice singe. Okay, while the vegetables are cooking, let's go ahead and open all of our cans here. And uh, once opened, we'll go ahead and throw them all into the instant pot. <laughs> Okay, let's check in on our vegetables here. While that's cooking, we can go ahead and uh, prepare our meat for browning. Now you're gonna wanna put just a little soy sauce in this dish, as well as our garlic salt. And I'm almost out of garlic salt, so I'm gonna empty most of this into here. And we'll go ahead and give this a nice uh, fold. Okay, that'll do for now. Okay, folks, I almost forgot about our authentic uh, hatch green chilies. Uh, so lest we forget about those, uh, we're gonna go ahead and add these uh, into this pan. Okay, it is now time to create a little salsa from our vegetables. They're all done cooking, so we're gonna throw those in the blender here. Uh, looks like it has a little peanut butter stuck on it still, um, but it's kind of hard to clean and it won't do any harm, so we're just gonna leave that on there. <clears throat> By the way, this is my office space area. So this is a quick tour. There's my desk. Uh, my plant, actually one of two plants. I have another plant there. I'll bet you were thinking, I'll bet this guy doesn't have any plants. Well, newsflash, I have one, two plants. So we have, we wanna put it on low. I'll just create a little turbulence and then we can give it a little stir with this. And we're just gonna create a nice chunky salsa. Okay. That looks good. Nice salsa. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this meat browning. While that's cooking, let's go ahead and add in our uh, salsa to our pot. Let's see how much comes out first. We'll probably have to scrape a lot of this out. Oh, I got a good plop. Oh yeah, look at that, folks. Got some nice color going here. All right, folks, our uh, 
meat is done browning, so we're gonna go ahead and add that into our pot. <clears> that is our final step. And make sure you keep all that grease in there. That's good flavor. Don't be straining any of your grease out of your uh, cooked meat, folks. That is mistake number uh, three. Mistake one is putting beans in your chili. Mistake two was uh, being too lazy to include fresh vegetables. And mistake three would be not including the grease from the cooked meat. What a sound. What a sound that is. Oh yeah. That's a good consistency. That's how you know you did it right. Get that gargling sound. Okay, let's go ahead and start this. So we will go pressure cook and as a soup option start okay okay I think it's all done uh, cooking so I'm gonna go ahead and open this open this up here and take a look we'll give it a little stir here and then we will uh, get a bowl ready for a taste Here's my bowl. I don't really have a ladle. The trouble is I don't really have a ladle. Sportsmanship. 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 America.